Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Alex's Caves. So in the first episode, pretty much what we did is we did a little bit of exploring. We found this underground thing here. We found a trail ruins over there. I forgot what that is. Oh, it was a big village where I was. We got some of the cave tablets. We got ourselves a backpack and also curio. What? Wait, where'd my backpack go? Oh, backpack. There we go. Okay, now we can wear it. Thank God. Okay. We just, we, we did a bunch of stuff related to the beginning of this mod. In today's episode, I think I want to do something similar to what I did last time in collecting all of the different cave tablets that you can find. So far, we have ones for, I believe this is the Forlorn Hollows, and one for the Magnetic Caves, but we need more. There's three more still. I think today I want to also find diamonds or gold, more gold, because I only have three. I want to find more gold so that I can actually upgrade my backpack to get more room, because that is something that I desperately need. Ooh, okay, actually, right here, there's another mine shaft, so I'm gonna go look in that real quick and see if I can find anything good. Oh, aha, not even there yet, and I found gold, and this is absolutely going to be enough to upgrade my backpack. Let's go. And as I suspected, there was absolutely nothing good in it. I got some iron. That's cool, I guess. I very much appreciate the fact that this one took me all the way to the surface, though. That's super nice. But I need to not focus on that, because I'll keep getting distracted. I will keep getting distracted if I focus on structures. We need to- Oh my god, why are there so many creepers? Oh my god. What was I saying? We need to focus on the actual structure. The structure that I really need. I don't know why I left the cave. I kind of needed to be down there to find the structure. But oh well, we'll just find another way back down. I know there's plenty of holes in the floor to get back down. Like the one right over here. I think this is actually how I initially got into the cave the first time. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure I went down this way. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yep. Here's my initial thing. Okay. Let's just go back through it anyway. Because this will honestly be the best way to find the structure. Because there is one... Where did it go? There was one near here. Was it this way? I don't remember. Do I see any? Aha! There's one over there. Um, I think we can just dig to it. That'll be okay. Ooh, there's a giant reservoir, which will take me to kind of near where I need to go. Yeah, this way, this way, this way. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Go back, go back, go back, swim. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Ooh, oh, my God. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna dig from here. Oh, that was a little bit too close for comfort. One thing that I forgot to mention, which I actually posted this in like a community like post the other day, but I am going to make this series, if you couldn't already tell, this is going to be a weekly thing. It's not going to be like all the mod 7 where it's every other week. I plan on doing this one every week because it's fun. I really enjoy it. And what I'll end up doing to make sure that there is some variety in what I'm doing, obviously every episode is going to be different. But, every once in a while, I will also just kind of have, like, a random video. Like, for example, uh, I'm working on some video essays. Maybe I'll have one of those replace a week of this. It, it really all depends on what I'm working on. Because I have a bunch of other video ideas that I'm doing, but they take a lot of time to do. So being able to do this modded series in the meantime, while I'm, what is this tiny ass cave? While I'm working on the other stuff, works out absolutely perfectly. Wait, there's something right over here. No way, is this, oh, it is one. Oh my God. Oh, it's just more magnetic caves. Oh. That's fine. It's fine. We only had one tablet. I needed more anyways. Oh, that does kind of suck a lot, though. Oh, well. Hopefully the one over here won't be magnetic caves. Okay, I know we're getting close now. Okay, and it's over this way. Oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay, where is the bear roll? I think I saw multiple. No, I guess it was just the one. But it's over here, and... Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. 
Oh my god. I don't need 18 magnetic cave tablets. Oh my god. Okay, well, at least I get a lot of tries with that one. I remember there being one under the trail ruins over there. So, let's get out of this cave, head on over to the trail ruins, and then kind of just dig down. I'm not sure if there's going to be, like, no water all the way down through this thing. I really don't want to hit suspicious gravel, but we'll see. So far, so good. Oh, and we made it to the bottom. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, there it is. Wait, is that? Yes, that's it. Please, I beg of you, have a good thing. Or something I don't have. Have something I don't have. Yes, something new. <gasps> and a diamond. If I remember correctly, this one is the Abyssal Chasm. So we are only missing the Toxic Caves and the Primordial Caves. I do know that on my map, I saw another one of the structures kind of nearby but it was more up yeah literally like straight ahead of me okay oh uh i think this is it oh oh it is it okay uh whoa. hello give me that <gasps> diamond pickaxe let's go oh and a shove oh my god that's a pickaxe and a sword right there awesome okay what do we got a different one. Oh my god. Things are coming up. Millhouse. That literally just leaves the prehistoric caves. But I don't see any structures really like super close by. I could try and get over to this one right here. I actually might do that just because I just got the diamond pickaxe. Which will mean that I actually have more durability. So we have to head this way into there looks like a big cave over there and that big cave kind of takes us like pretty far down oh there's one right there too okay there's kind of two in this area so that's that's actually uh that's perfect i just have to hope and pray that one of them has the proper thing aha okay first give me wood i i need a lot because i need to make torches and stuff so we'll do a stack of torches and then, diamond pickaxe and sword. And now, where is the barrel? Where? Oh, right here. Dang it! More forlorn hollows! Okay, we still have one more shot over here. Now we just have to get there. And I'm not 100% sure how I am going to... Maybe I could take that route? It starts going this way. <gasps> Diamonds! Whoa! Fuck off! Fuck off! Okay. Give me these. And now hopefully I can- Oh my god, nope. Just, can't just kind of run that way. Oh, there- Oh my god, there's so much shit. Oh my god. Yes, zombie, go attack the skeleton now, please. Distraction. Okay. We're good. We just have to run into this tiny little tunnel up here. I mean, tiny little tunnel- where, oh, where is it? Screw it. I'm just gonna dig into the wall right here. I don't care anymore. I'm so close, I know it. Is it down? It is! Ooh! Oh my god, thank god there was water there. Mr. Alex Cave, please, I beg of you, be the primordial cave tablet. <laughs> I don't need more magnetic cave tablets! Uh, okay, I think for now I'm just gonna try and get out of this cave. Oh my god, that is the most insanely lucky thing ever. The sun is right there. But now that I'm out of the cave, I think I'm just gonna walk in this direction for like 10 minutes or so. And then hopefully by then we'll find like some new cave that we can go down, see what kind of stuff they got going on at the bottom of that. Hopefully we'll be able to find more of the structure. And hopefully we'll be able to find primordial cave tablets. I think that for the rest of this episode, after I find the primordial cave tablet, I might go through maybe one or two more of the big mine shafts. Then after that, I think I'm going to set up camp somewhere, like actually a house and chests so that I can dump some of all this shit that I just kind of have in my backpack. 
out so I can have like furnaces and stuff like that in one spot so I can start building up my storage system because I also I don't know if I mentioned it I have Tom simple storage installed to help with like a storage network without needing like electricity or power from mechanism or something like that I do also think that not in this episode specifically but Throughout the course of this series, I'm also going to want to do the Alex's mobs quests, or achievements. God, I keep mixing them up because of all the mod 7. I want to do the Alex's mobs achievements as well as Alex's caves, because Alex's mobs has so much content in it as well, that I just don't want to have it like installed and then skip over it all. Because there's so much cool stuff. There's bosses. There's so many kinds of pets that you can get. I it just, I, I don't want to miss out on it. I really don't. Okay, in all honesty, I know I literally just talked about finding a place to live. But this village is so cool. I could absolutely set something up here. We've got this whole middle part of town right here, which looks really good. I just need to find the waystone, which is right here. And then I honestly think this might be where I live. We're not going to do anything too crazy with it in this episode. Actually, we're going to do nothing with it in this episode. But eventually, we will start building up like a storage and stuff here. I also think now that I've gone far enough away... Oh my god, a Young's Better Jungle Temple. We will explore that next episode. What is that? What is that? I must go and see, because it could be a structure from Alex's Caves. Probably not, though. But what was I going to say? After we look at that little thing that's over here, I'll just set a temporary waypoint, we will go down into the mines and like actually look for more of the underground cabins. What is that thing? Oh my god, it's a jungle pillager outpost. Oh my. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love that so much. And smithing templates! Wait, is this... <gasps> I have the call in response. So you hit him with the... Followed by a quick little... <laughs> <laughs> I should not be laughing, it's so stupid. Okay, cool. I totally forgot the Choice Theorem's Overhauled Villages also does overhauled, like, pillager outposts and stuff. Okay, but it does kind of look like... What the hell is that? What is that? I was gonna say, it kind of looks like there's a cave down here, but, uh, more looks like it's infested with spiders, which I don't like... But I think for now I am going to make some chests and finally put some shit away so that my backpack's kind of empty. Oh, and I'm also going to upgrade my backpack, smelt all my stuff right now, and then we'll go down into the mine once all of that is finished. Okay, so we did a little bit of stuff. We got the Splunkery table in this corner. We have all the cave tablets and cave compendium in there. This is just going to be smithing templates for now, bed, whatever. We got stuff smelting, and now we have a little bit of storage. So now I feel a little bit more comfortable actually going down into the mines. Do I? Ooh, I don't land that. <laughs> well, it's a good thing my spawn is right here. Let's try that again. Do I land this? I do land it. Oh my god. Please, I'm begging you, say that nothing fell off the side. My pants are gone. <clears throat> there they are. <clears throat> okay, that's cool. Uh, there's a drop right here, so that works. What happens if I break that? I regret it. Wow, this is uh, kind of scary. Do I see any structures, though? There's one over here. There is one over here. And I kind of think that's it. I'll probably see some more when I go down lower. Ooh, oh my god, please. No. Okay, I'm gonna be real. This biome is kind of insane. Oh no. Oh god. I thought that I could land in this like a normal thing. Oh, that was bad. Any more structures though? Nope. Okay. The hell is that? What is that? What in the fuck is that? <laughs> ah, what is? What is that? No, 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 no! Oh my god! Oh! What the fuck was that? What was that? Uh, uh, okay. Oh shit! 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 
I think that was an Alex's Mobs thing. Oh, that was actually really scary. I did not expect that at all. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna make this. Oh my god. Okay, my death was over here. Ooh, I really hope it's not still there. That thing was scary. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Give me my stuff. Whoa, okay. Give me my bread, dude. Oh, where's my sword? There it is. Okay. That's pretty much everything, I think. Wow, that was a, a terrifying experience. I am going to go towards the waypoint now. Because I don't want to fucking run into that thing again. Okay, kind of a weird skip. But there's good news and bad... Actually, no, it's mostly just bad news. We didn't find any of the right cave tablets. But as you can see on the map, I was over here in this village. And something in this area right here kept making me crash. So, I'm back in this village over here. It took a lot to, like, escape this area without crashing. So, we're probably just going to stay away from this jungle and we'll stick in this village i think this is the, oh my god this is the village that i want to live in i like this village a lot anyways i really like the style there's a ton of villagers there's food there's iron golems we got a waste zone over here so real quickly because as you can see in my backpack i took everything that i actually like cared about with me i still have my food and all my resources and stuff so let's just pick a random house Put down the chests, sort everything out really quickly, set my spawn point, and now we can actually get back to finding that last cave tablet. Before I do head down into the mines though, I think I want to find some endermen. And I see some on my map over here, they're probably underground, because I want to make a warp stone which requires four ender pearls. We can get the amethyst shards while we're down in the caves and I have the emerald here. That way we won't actually have to mine out of the cave, and it'll just save us a lot of durability. Okay, there's one ender pearl. Two. Ooh, young better jungle temple. Maybe there will be some eyes of ender in there, or ender pearls. Please. This is also a very dangerous and bad idea. Oh god, it's very, very dark in here. Okay, let's make some torches. And then let's go in and hope to God that there are ender pearls in here. Oh, I forgot there's like puzzles and stuff in here. This way, I think, and then this way, this way, that, straight across. Okay. Okay, what do we got now? Hup, hup, okay, this is very cool. I like this a lot. Go, 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 go. Oh, hello, guys. I don't particularly want to stay here. Whew. What the hell is this room? Is this a puzzle? Are we supposed to activate these guys? I genuinely don't know. Whoa, look. I did it. I solved the puzzle. I'm going to be that guy today. Pretty sure this is trapped. Damn it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. And there wasn't, oh, there wasn't even any ender pearls in here. Okay, I'm just gonna take the easy way out of here and use a waystone. I think this is the closer one. Yeah, okay. It's nighttime again, so maybe we'll get some endermen. What the hell is that? Is that a different... Oh, it's a pillager outpost, but planes. Ooh. Maybe it'll have enderpearls in this one. Nope. No. Any on top? Nope. Awesome. This is super cool. <laughs> we got another one. Maybe there'll be some in there. Nope. No, but smithing templates. That's cool. And no, of course. Okay. What is that? If this is a mine shaft, I'm absolutely going to be going down it because I need ender pearls. This episode is literally going to be like three or four minutes longer because I need ender pearls. Okay, we got a mushroom mine shaft this time. Oh my god, this is crazy. Oh. Uh oh. Uh-oh. That's fine. Okay, amethyst geode. Now we can actually get the proper stuff that I need. Yeah, four amethyst shards. Okay, that's literally all I needed. Honestly, at this point, because I can't find them, I might just go down into the caves to see if I can find more of the structure so I can get that last cave tablet and at the same time also kind of just look for endermen underground instead. 
First, I gotta find a new way underground, though. Is this gonna be it? Uh, looks like it. Uh, I'm not actually sure how deep this cave goes. It looks like it goes pretty far down. Yeah, it kinda looks like if I keep go- Oh, here it is. <laughs> Big cave. Oh my god, and I'm just looking. Look at this. One, two, three of the structures on this level. <laughs> okay, one of those has to be it. It, it has to be. Okay, first one, here we go. Uh, it would be awesome if... <sighs> okay, I'm being 100% honest when I say this. If one of these does have the primordial tablet in it, we're not going to get the ender pearls in this episode. I really just want to get that fifth tablet. Okay, next one. Uh, wait, where? Huh? Oh, here's the top. Okay. Please, I'm begging you. Oh my god. I'm going to lose my mind. Luckily, we've got another one. Not too far away. This cave tablet should not be this hard to find. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking cry. I'm going to cry. At this point, I don't want to make you guys sit through watching me get all of these disappointments. So, we're just gonna skip ahead. You'll see in the next second me finding the correct thing. Okay, so I made my way back to the mushroom mine thing, and I can see on my map that there is a structure in this direction, I believe it is. Please, God, I beg of you, with every fiber of my being, be the primordial cavern one. Please. Okay, please. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I got it. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this one, please, uh, uh if you did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe. That's <laughs> it really does help out. So I'm just freaking out because I find it took me three hours from the start of finding the first one to finding that one. That's insane. Uh, outro thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe as it really does help out in the next episode we'll finally start going into the cave biomes see you all in the next one Bye bye